What's up everybody, my name is Ever the Jester, and you guys are probably wondering why I am a naked high elf standing in a bedroom next to my fan over here. And I will explain that right now because I hate people who beat around the bush for 10 minutes explaining why they are a naked high elf standing next to their fan in a bedroom. Okay, so as you guys notice, this is a new game. This is a completely new game. I have no mods installed as the making of this intro, but I'm going to review some mods. The reason I have done this is because I like to have a clean slate. I like to see what works and what doesn't. I always download a mod before I down before I um, review it. I always download it and I check it out and I make sure it doesn't break anything before I review it. Like these, I take. I don't like to mess with people's games at all, I don't like to do that. So I always make sure that the mod works. I downloaded a mod that I thought had somewhat game breaking properties, I did not review it. But I did download it to see if it did work, and it had game breaking properties, it broke my follower system. So that's a mod I am not going to review. And that's what I've been doing like for the past few months, is just actually ever since I started making Skyrim mod reviews, I always just make sure that the mods that I review don't break anything. And unfortunately, the one that I tried to look at and see if it worked, it broke my game, even though it was very minuscule. So I'm not going to be reviewing that mod. But on the bright side, I've got a lot of other mods that are a lot better than it. And these mods are going to work perfectly in your game, they will not cause any game breaking bugs. So to make it long story short, I always download a mod one by one, I download mods one by one, I check them out, I make sure they don't break anything, then I review them. If it breaks anything, I don't review them. That's basically how this works. So anyways, now that we got that out of the way, don't worry, my army will probably be back by next episode or maybe the following one. This is an old Skyrim's staunch Where the fuck are you going? Where are you going? You look worse than I feel. What are you doing? You enjoying the music? Yes! Yes! This is really the only thing I care about. Of the scourge that oh, has so sullied our happened. hopes and our dreams. Mister, could you spare a coin? I'm so... Here you go. Thank you. Divine, bless your kind heart. Let's get right into the video, because I hate long intros. The first mod is called rebellious riverwood now it doesn't look like much at first but you'll start to see little changes like this and this it makes it look a little bit more ghetto honestly i kind of like that about this though it doesn't have like a huge huge impact on it something that you see right away you do got to take a little bit of a look but it changes tiny, tiny things. It's it's a mod for those people that like small details or small added details, stuff like that. It actually kind of looks like normal-ish Riverwood, but it's got like a couple other things added into it. And that's kind of why I like it, like things like this, like that, like these like two skulls here. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a small mod, but I appreciate it. I, I kind of like it. It's also got those pots up there. It does, it makes it look like it's its own little individual village rather than owned by a city. It also has magical men that could stand inside of tables. Either I'm drunk or you're naked. Possibly both. On to the next mod. For I love you! I love, love! Moist Towelettes. The next mod is called Get Out of the Way, and... I'll just show you what it does. Very self-explanatory. But first, let me show you where you can find it. I've already picked it up, by the way. You'll find it right here, right behind Heimsker. 
There's a book called Move Out of the Way, and then there's a ring called Pimp Hand. Move, bitch, get out of the way. Now, you equip that ring and you get that spell, and then... But I mean, nope, for the most part, you got it. This is for people who have a lot of followers like me. I'm definitely going to be using this mod. Because, you know... You know how, um, my fan likes to constantly block corridors and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be using this mod for. The next mod is called... Everything's for sale, my friend. You need visit no other shops today. Bellathor's General Goods Upgraded. And what this does, it's a complete overhaul of Bellathor's General Goods Store. I honestly love this mod, I'm not even gonna lie. Who is talking to you? By the way, he doesn't come with the mod. He was a mod follower mod, but I had to figure out why I have the bath salt bug. Anyways, you see he's got the table right here, he's got the shelves stocked over there. As a thief player, I am very tempted to steal all this, but I'll do that when I actually have uh, made my character and got my progress back. I really want to steal everything here. You've got clothes, you've got all the shrines, you've got little gadgets up here. You've got little air things down here. It looks really nice, you know what I mean? Food, statues, I don't know what this is, but I, I guess. Nothing back here has changed. His living quarters is though. He's got some things up here, some bed rolls. He's got a, a little bit more space to really do stuff now, you know? And his living quarter is exactly the same. But, the shop, the shop looks so much better. He's got a weapon cabinet up here. He's got that. Like, I mean, it actually looks like he is running some kind of gift shop, you know? Like, it just looks so much better. It really does. And he's got a drum. I'll take that. You won't get away with that! I'll end you! You thieving little elf! I can tell you're a discriminating customer. Perhaps you're a wealthy one, too. Ah! Alright, anyways, on to the next mod. So, the next mod is called Ultimate Player Start. And I'm actually using it right now. And this is a cheat mod. But, I do have to say, if you want to use this mod, you have to make a new game. What this does is it completely puts you at level 100 at the very start of the game and it gives you every perk in the game. This is for people who just want to go on a, a crazy spree of some kind or they just want to be overpowered and not have to equip a ring or something like that. You know, the simple stuff. The reason I choose Triforce Ring over this mod is because you can actually take Triforce Ring off. Once you equip this mod, you can't really get rid of it. So I recommend that you use this with caution. Although it does work and, ev and everything is fine, it's not a game breaking mod at all. It's just that you have to start a new game if you want to be able to take damage. This is for people, specifically the people who want to go on giant killing sprees. They want to have every perk in the game because they've, maybe they've already gotten it in the previous playthrough and they lost and they got corrupted or whatever and stuff like that. So definitely check this mod out if you just want to have a giant meme playthrough. The next mod is called Falkreath's Castle Wall. It was made by Imperial Agents. So for those of you who have an issue with some of his mods. For some of you who ha may have some issues with this mod, I rec DUDE! <laughs> some of y'all who have some issues with this mod may not- may want to avoid this, but I personally had no issue with this mod, and I personally think it looks really nice. And what it does is it completely walls off Falkreath. It looks really nice. It also adds a castle. Like, it adds a castle to Falkreath, and it makes everything a lot more kingly. Honestly, I think this is probably one of the better Falkreath mods. It's a lot more city-like, you know. It kind of feels like you actually are in a city now. And yeah. Did you see a dog out? The last and final mod is called Molag Ball NPC. This is what he looks like. He's a pretty menacing dude. 
Let's see how you guys can handle Mole Ball. Alright, I guess y'all aren't gonna do nothing. He's a boss battle. Let's get it. let's get this fool. Hell off me. It's a pretty tough boy. You gonna die? <laughs> that was pretty dope. Spell Tomb, Conjure Molek Ball. Once you defeat him, you get this. Let's summon him. Let's see what he. Let's see what he can do. Blizzard! Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you all in the next video.